Assalamu alaikum. I'm Abbas Imam and today I'm going to discuss a very important topic which troubles most of us. That is moderation versus mediation. This video is designed in such a way that moderation and mediation can be compared side by side. Now what is moderation? Moderator is a variable that alters the direction or strength between independent variable and independent variable. On the other hand, mediator is a variable that explains the relationship between predictor and outcome. Moderation answers when and for whom questions and mediation answers how and why questions. For moderation, it is not necessary that IV predicts the moderator. On the other hand, for mediation, it is necessary that IV predicts the mediator. Uh, mediation lies in the literature review. And you can see that X predicts the Y, but X does not predict the moderator. On the other hand, IV predict the DV, and then IV predict the mediator, and then mediator predicts the dependent variable. So one has to establish these three parts, only then mediation can be performed. Let's discuss moderation with an example. For instance, teaching can affect student scores. So teaching is an independent variable and student scores is a dependent variable. Now, whether attendance can change, increase or decrease the relationship, so that's a moderator. And it is not necessary that teaching predicts the attendance. On the other hand, from the literature review, we come to know that teaching can predict student score as well as teaching can also predict attention. And then attention can predict student score. So it's a mediation model. So attention becomes a mediator between teaching and student score. Other examples of moderator can be gender, parents. Now let's discuss the characteristics one by one. Moderator is a trait. On the other hand, mediator is a state. Moderator is observed. On the other hand, mediator can be manipulated. In moderation, moderator and moderated are uncorrelated. On the other hand, in mediation, mediator and that mediated are correlated. Let's discuss more examples of moderation and mediation. First example is mediation. Here, number of readings in a day can predict score. And attendance is a moderator. So, at number of readings can predict score, but on the other hand, number of readings cannot predict the attendance. Let's discuss the mediation example. Number of readings can predict the score and number of readings can also predict the reading speed. And reading speed can predict the reading score. Here, IV is predicting the DV and IV is also predicting the MV. But on the other hand, in moderation, IV is predicting the DV but IV cannot predict the moderating variable. Take another example. Age can predict the symptoms of physical illness and healthy habits act as a moderator. On the other hand, in mediation, leadership can predict the performance and leadership can also predict the motivation. And then motivation can also predict the performance. Here, leadership can generate motivation and performance. Here, IV is a causal relationship between DV and MV. On the other hand, in moderation, IV cannot have a causal relationship with moderator. Now, let's discuss the reasons for including moderator and mediator in a research study. In 2011, David has well evaluated multiple rationals. The most well known are the moderator, manipulation check, generalizability of results, specificity of effects, and for mediator, uh, measurement improvement, building and refinement theory. Now, let's discuss the steps involved in data analysis of moderation and mediation. Since moderator interact with independent variable, Therefore, we have to create an interaction term. Interaction term can be created by multiplying independent variable and moderated variable. But it will create the complexity of multicollinearity. So we have to standardize it or mean center it. I prefer standardizing. In step one, uh, we are going to standardize the independent variable and moderated variable. In second step, we are going to create a new variable, which is interaction term, uh, which is a multiplication of standardize IV and MV. And then we are going to run the regression. First, we are going to enter independent variable and moderator variable. And then we are going to enter the interaction variable. And if moderator interaction terms are significant, then our moderator is significant. Let's discuss the steps involved in mediation. Since mediation lies in theory, so we have to eventually prove that our IV, DV, and MV are significance. So in first step, the relationship between independent variable and dependent variable should be significant. In second step, the relationship between independent variable and mediating variable should be significant. In third step, 
the relationship between mediating variable and dependent variable should be significant. In the fourth step, independent and mediating variable should be significant on dependent variable. Now, if mediating variable is significant and IV become insignificant in step four, then it is a complete mediation. And if if mediator is significant and IV is also significant, then it is called partial mediation. A mediation is established, but we have not established that mediation is significant or not. It can be tested through Sobel's test. Now let's discuss how to establish mediation through direct and indirect effect. First, we have to understand some technologies. C represents total effect, which is a path X to Y. C prime represents a direct effect after controlling for the proposed mediator, which is a path X to Y, and then indirect effect. Indirect effect is the effect which is multiplied by the path A and B. It is normally equivalent to C minus C prime. Now let's discuss how to establish mediation with process macro. In first step, C path should be significant. That is a path which is X to Y. After that, C prime should be significant, which is a direct effect, which is necessary after controlling for the proposed mediator. After that, indirect effect should be significant. And if there is no direct effect from X to on Y, then it is a complete mediation, else it's a partial mediation. Let me put this another way. If indirect effect is significant and direct effect becomes insignificant, then it's a complete mediation else it's a partial mediation. The material of this video is prepared from the following articles. I strongly encourage you to go through these articles. These are quite brilliant articles. At this point, basics have been covered. Now I'm going to run moderation and mediation in SPSS, process, and in AMOS. First, I'm going to run moderation in SPSS. For this, I have selected this model. In example three, Age predict the symptom of physical illness and healthy habitats moderate their relationship. Now remember, age is independent variable and symptom of physical illness is dependent variable and healthy habits is moderating variable. Now let's load the data set. This is our data set. Age is independent variable, symptom is dependent variable, habits is moderating variable. First we have to standardize our independent variable and moderating variable to G-score to avoid multi canality issue. We go to Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, Descriptives. We'll select our independent variable and moderating variable. Check Save Standardized Value as Variables. OK. Now, I hope our C-scores have been created here. That's good. Now we are going to create an interaction term. Interaction term will be created by multiplying these two z scores of independent variable and moderating variable, which is step two. We go to transform compute variable. I write a new variable interaction. Oops. Select my z-score of independent variable, multiply, multiply sign, select the other, the moderator variable, z-score, press OK. And there we have our interaction term. Now we will be able to run our moderation analysis through linear regression. Let's see. We select regression, linear and our dependent variable is symptom and our independent variable is age our moderator is habits and block one we press next and under block will appear there we enter interaction term i go to statistics ask a change Continue. OK. Now, here are the results. As you see, we two models have been created, model 1 and model 2. Both are significant. And at the same moment of a time, R-scale has been changed and increased. 
which shows that uh, there exists some moderation but let's see actually in the coefficient table in model 1 independent variable significant moderate variable is also significant in model 2 interaction has been added and interaction term is also significant which concludes that is significant since our moderator and interaction term is significant now i'm going to run the same model with the data in process let's go to process we go to analyze then select regression then process our independent variable is age which is uh, put age on in independent variable then put my dependent variable in outcome and put my moderator in over here now I have put my moderator over here not the interaction term here select the appropriate model and uh, go to options mean set of products which will avoid multicolorality heteroscopicity check this one check this check this and continue and press it will take some time and we have our, our results so our moderate is significant our interaction term is also significant so we can conclude that our moderation is significant and uh, our scale has been changed down here we have conditional effects of x on y at values of the moderator uh, it represents low medium and uh, it is this one is high so at low value effect is significant and medium value effect is also significant and uh, when moderator value is high effect is also significant we can also plot the graph of moderation but for this we have to create another data as well uh, I'm gonna create a new data file so over here let me rearrange it in a way that it can be visible variable is age habits and the last one is symptoms right so let's label them as well I give minus one to low right and zero to medium then one to high right let's categorize them in the same way I'm going to categorize minus one to low zero to medium and one to positive one to high Press OK. Now we have to change the measures. They are normally nominal. One of them must be at scale level. Now let's populate the data. I consider minus 9 into minus 1, 0, 1, minus 1, 0, oops, 9. minus 1 0 and 1 in the same manner you have to populate this to save the time I have already done this for you so this is how it looks like so here it is so I'm going to run a graph chart builder I go to ok no problem I go to line drag it over here now I'm going to put my x variable, the independent variable, to 
x-axis right here and my mediator into here as well and let the y variable into count and press ok let's see what happens here down here it should have i should have a graph right yes we have a graph here it shows that when you have low healthy habits it means that and you are the you have a less age so your symptoms may be less because you're young when you have tendency of high healthy habits and even when your age is high your symptoms of illness will be less now i'm going to run the mediation in spss processor amos let's load the data set now we have our data set uh, reading is our independent variable reading speed is mediating and score is our dependent variable first we have to check that independent variable is significant with dependent variable we go to analyze regression linear reset it our independent variable is readings and our dependent variable is score right um, what we have to do is statistics all right leave it over here we run it and our model is significant our variable beta is also significant in next step we have to check whether our independent variable is significant with mediating variable for this speed is our mediating variable we run again over here our model is also significant and our beta readings is also significant with speed it means that independent variable significantly affects the mediating variable step two is established in step three we have to establish that mediating variable is significant with dependent variable we reset it our mediating variable becomes independent variable here which is p and our dependent variable which is score becomes independent dependent variable run our model is significant step 3 is established step 4 again in step 4 we have to establish that independent variable and mediating variable both are significant on dependent variable our independent variable is readings our mediating variable is reading speed and our dependent variable is score we run again here model is significant in this step if our independent variable becomes insignificant then it is complete mediation but in this case reading which is our independent variable remains significant it means it is partial mediation now we have established that our mediator is a partial mediator but yet we have to establish the significance of the partial mediation for this we have to run the Sobel test this is the link of the Sobel test this is very simple all you have to do is Take the unstandardized coefficients of path A and B and fill these boxes. SA is standard error of path A and SB is a standard of path B. I hope you can do it easily. All you have to find is whether it is significant or not. If it is significant, it's good. Now I'm going to run the same mediation model and with the same data set in process. I go to analyze regression process reset it and uh, over here readings is independent variable speed is mediating variable and score is dependent variable model 4 is selected good and uh, I go to options I select these last four and 
continue and OK. It's going to take some time. No, it's here. Now scroll down a little bit and you find the total effect is significant, which is step one. Direct effect is also significant and indirect effect is also significant since zero does not lie between these lower limit confine interval and upper limit confine interval. Since our indirect effect is significant, and so our direct effect is significant or not. Our direct effect is also significant, which proves that it is a partial mediator. And it automatically checks the Sobel test, which is also significant. Now I'm going to run the same model with the same data set in Amos. Let's open Amos. Amos is here. Uh, let's load the data file, file name, practice data set for Sam. I'm using a different file name, but it has the same data inside, but it does not have missing values inside as uh, Amos does not take missing values. It does not process missing values. So, okay, um, let's load the variables. We have readings, we have score, we have speed. Let's arrange them in a manner that looks good. Let's go regress them in a beautiful way. Readings, speed. Let's give them error terms, name them, and go to analysis properties, bootstrap, one bootstrap for 2000 samples, bias corrected 95%, and we go to output indirect effect and standardized estimates, and we run it. Oops, I have to save it first my desktop and, and save okay now run it calculate estimates it's done open the output we go to estimates matrices we have standardized total effects all right um, which is 0.7565. Uh, I go to confidence, check that whether it's significant or not. Yes, they are significant. Now we have to check the direct effect, which is C prime. We are the estimates. All right, both of them are significant. I think, yes, they are an indirect effects where the estimates it's significant and it's significant since our direct effect is also significant and indirect effect is also significant so we can conclude that that our mediation is a partial mediation that's it on the lecture of moderation versus mediation thank you so much